Processing key references requires determining the effective binding of a given key to a resource in the context of a given root map. Because a root map defines the set of effective key bindings, it is said to establish a key space. Oxygen builds the key space to correctly reflect the data rules for key definition starting from a root map. As a practical example, we'll work with a data map structure composed of a root map that refers to submaps. Both flowers map and the flowers by family submap define different keys. When flowers is set as a root map, Oxygen constructs the key space by collecting keys from the entire map structure. Because documentation projects can produce huge data map structures with a data map that refers many other submaps, you might want to focus on a specific submap at a time. To highlight the benefits of setting a root map, we'll begin our demonstration trying to work with the flowers by season as an independent map. As you can see, the data maps manager view marks the two referred submaps with these icons. We'll open the first submap, which is flowers by season. Immediately, we spot an error in the map complaining that the definition of a key is not found. Furthermore, if we open one of the topics, for example, the chrysanthemum, and try to validate it, Oxygen reports that the definition of two of the keys used in the topic are not found. The first warning reports that the link that uses a key references cannot be resolved because the key definition is not found. The second warning has the same cause, but this time we have a broken content key reference. Also, if we want to insert a key ref, we can see that Oxygen does not find any key definition. See that the key references table is empty. The problem is that the map is isolated from the rest of the map's structure. Note that the root map selector is set to current map and Oxygen considers that the root map is flowers by season. You can set the root map from the data maps manager view or by clicking one of the key reference errors or from the insert key reference dialog. You can see that now Oxygen collects the key definitions from the entire map structure. Note that the selector was updated to flowers.datamap setting. From now on, we can use the key definitions in any of the maps that compose the map's structure. If we validate again the topic, Oxygen reports no more problems. Also, the content reference was solved and now it is displayed correctly. The root map also defines the search rename operation scope. For example, our map structure refers the chrysanthemum topic twice, once in the flowers by season map and once in the flowers by family map. So, if we want to rename the chrysanthemum file, we should be aware that all its references need to be updated correctly. To see how it works, we'll switch the root map back to current map meaning that Oxygen will consider flowers by season to be the root map, thus decoupling it from the map's structure. Now, Oxygen narrowed the scope of the rename operation to flowers by season submap only. If we try to rename the chrysanthemum topic file, we can see that Oxygen finds only one reference. But if we set the root map to flowers.datamap, the scope of the rename operation will be the entire map structure. Trying to rename again the file, Oxygen detects the chrysanthemum topic in both submaps. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.